What is going on guys? Jack here and welcome to episode 22 of the Rise to Glory here with Gibraltar Apex and today I've got for you guys a live commentary in the Gibraltarian Senior, Senior League Cup quarter final. We're taking on Glasses United today. Fairly big game for us. It's a cup competition that whilst the board don't kind of value too highly, I certainly do and I do want to do well in this competition. And that starts here today. So that's going to be the aim. Uh, Glasses United, as you can see, third in the Premier Division. We are top of the Premier Division on 18 points. So let's look at our games. And we have played eight league games. I do. I think it's eight. It might be nine. It is eight league games since the last episode, which, if you missed, was a Pepe Reyes Cup win against St. Joseph's FC as we marched through that game 5-1 on the day. So anyway, let's have a look at these fixtures, the first of which, fantastic result, we hammered Gibraltar United, they struggled, we capitalised, Anthony Hernandez, Griffo and Peachman with the goals and yeah, great way to start the season and we continued in that vein of form, this time beating the team who we played today, Glasses United, 3-0 away from home, fantastic result here, completely outplayed them. With a better team, another clean sheet, and we were laughing. And we continued laughing as we took on Europa Point, the team who kind of scraped safety last year. And, well, as you can see in this game, Ben Connolly got himself a lot of goals. Let's have a look through these goals, because if I remember correctly, they were all pretty similar. There were lots of big balls over the top to Connolly. He scored our second, third, fourth, and fifth goals uh, in this match. So we'll skip to the next goal. And um, yeah, th this was it here. So he got two in the first half, two in the second. Ben Connolly coming back from injury was, of course, out for the start of the season. And uh, yeah, it was really good to have him back for this game. And you'll see here, the goals, just they all relied on his pace. And he caused uh, Europa Point, oh, not Europa Point, sorry. Is it uh, Europa? Yeah, it is Europa Point. I was getting all my team names rolled up. But yeah, he gave Europa Point an absolute nightmare. He he's terrified them. His pace, the ball's over the top. He was just latching onto everything. That second goal there, a really nice finish for him. And for him to get four goals in this game was really pleasing. The 19-year-old, or actually, I think he's 18, but the 18-year-old um, just scoring for fun. A bit of a variety when it came to these goals, really. The header there, and if I do remember, the fifth goal of the game, the fourth that he got, was just a big ball over the top, and then his explosive pace allowed him to latch onto the end of it ahead of the... De the defenders, and it was just a really cool, composed finish. I'm expecting a big ball over. There we go. Ben Connolly running through, took it round the keeper, and uh, slotted it in at the near post, made it 5 0. And that was perhaps the highlight of these results so far. Anyway, the next game we played was against Manchester 62, and Ben Connolly got another hat trick. He's been scoring for fun so far. You can see 12 goals in seven league game he games. He is on fire right now for us. And um, yeah, he got a lot of goals in this Manchester 62 game, and that was pretty darn pleasing. Unfortunately for us, this kind of winning run of four amazingly kind of large margin wins came to a screeching halt as we took on St. Joseph's, and we could only draw this game 1-1. A really disappointing result. Uh, ben Connolly putting us ahead, but a goal in the 80th minute for St. Joseph's got them a deserved point in the end. Gregory getting man of the match. Gregory, uh, a player who we signed a few years ago now. Uh, in fact, no, it wasn't a few years ago. We signed him this year uh, from Lincoln Redimps. One of a few youngsters who we've bought from Lincoln Redimps over the years. Uh, he's not played as much football as you might expect for a player who he paid a club record fee of £24,000 for, uh, but when he's played, he's played very well, and the 18-year-old uh, here, you can see a very good creative player, uh, has been a, a good player for us so far this season. Disappointing result perhaps to get a draw, but St. Joseph's, one of the big teams in kind of Gibraltar, and you guys may remember, we did of course beat them 5-1 in the Pepe Reyes Cup. So going into that game, uh, it's fair to say my expectations were fairly high. Anyway, the next game was against Lynx, this time a 2-2 draw, Connolly and Hernandez getting the goals. Hernandez, uh, just been a fantastic player for us, this guy, for a number of years now. This year he's got things off to a great start, three goals and two assists in seven games for him. Uh, and in this game, we ended up drawing. It was a disappointing draw, but Lynx have been a bit of a surprise package so far this year. They got a very late goal in the 87th minute uh, to get a point. And again, similarly to the St. Joseph's game, we didn't really dominate that game as we had the games that preceded it. We did, however, put in a much more improved performance, this time against Gibraltar Lions, uh, a team promoted from the Sanguda division last year, this time Connolly grabbing a hat-trick, Peachman grabbing one himself. I've not talked much about Peachman, but he has been getting goals for us. He got five goals in six so far in the league and an 8.07 average rating in the league. I do believe that's better than Connolly's and I think that's largely down to a few assists he's been getting onto the pacey front man playing on ahead of him. So anyway, that was a good result there and then to round off these results, a 
draw against our bogey team. This is a team that I, I don't know why, but we seem to struggle against. And it was College Europa, a team who, when we started the save, were a really kind of dominant force, I guess, in the Premier Division. If we just look at how the league finished last year, you can see they ended up finishing fifth. And uh, this year, they've been doing okay. They're currently in seventh, but for some reason, we just always seem to struggle against them. Anyway, looking at the kind of the league table here, obviously, we're playing a cup game today, but we're currently four points clear of St. Joseph's. We're six points clear of Glasses United and then Manchester 62 uh, currently sit on 12 points as well but their poor goal difference of minus 5 is kind of letting them down just a little bit uh, amongst the kind of front runners at the top of the table at the moment. Meanwhile at the other end of the table uh, you can see Europa Point, a team who struggled last year, have got off to a fairly good start. They've actually scored 12 goals which is a really decent return for them. It's their second highest total in the league. Britannia can probably feel a little bit hard done by to be bottom of the table. You look at how many goals they've scored. They've got joint second most amount of goals scored in the season, but they've struggled. Two wins, one draw, but that poor defensive record, conceding 13, really has hurt them. And as a result, they've struggled to get points, and they currently sit on just seven from that opening eight games. Gibraltar Lions as well, newly promoted team, struggling just a little bit. So anyway, let's get into today's Senior Cup game. It's the quarterfinal. It's the first kind of stage that we enter at. I'm hoping for a good result here. Looking at it, you can see that we will play Britannia 11, the team struggling in the Premier Division, in the semi-final if we win today. But this is a competition that we've... Well, we've, we've not done very well in over the years. In terms of the squad, I'll just talk about this a little bit. Uh, Felix is back to full fitness, the goalkeeper. He's been improving a fair bit as well, which is really, really pleasing to see. I mean, there's no massive notable changes, but if we just click through some attributes, I've noticed the green arrows appearing. You can see here his kind of reflexes have gone up uh, by actually 0.6 so far this season, which isn't too bad. I say this season, I guess it ha is technically this season. Since June, it's gone up by 0.6 and he now does have 14 reflexes. I kind of like looking at these graphs, but they, I know they're really unclear for you guys to see. I like the fact that if we mouse, mouse over them, you can actually see kind of the exact value. So it's kind of like he's got uh, 6.4 for one-on-ones, which is an improvement. All in all, though, you know, steady little bits of improvement is pleasing for Felix. He's going to get a lot of that through playing in the first team. And it'll be interesting to see just how good he really is for us. Uh, for the 16-year-old, you know, regular first-team football going to be huge for him. Elsewhere on the side, Peter Morgan's really cemented a spot at right-back. A player who joined us this year on a free has got six assists so far in eight games, an 8.01 average rating for him. Just been one of the standout players this season. A player new to the club, but he's been doing well there. Uh, Reyes, you know, he's been ousted from the side a little bit, this guy. He got injured at the start of the season, and he's just not regained that posi position. And it's kind of difficult, I guess, to justify dropping Peter Morgan when he's playing as well as he is. A centre-back for this game, we're going to go with Adam Roberts, a player who we signed two years ago now, I do believe. Uh, he's been a regular player in our first team for a number of years, and this year he's having his best season so far, a 7.43 average rating for him. Alongside him for today's game, we're going to go with the youngster uh, Bonavia, who is 18. You can see he's played two games so far for us this year, a 7.25 average rating. We've got a few injuries to worry a little bit about, and there's a few kind of fitness issues, I guess you could say. Guerrero had been out for a little while with a... Um injury. I can't remember what the injury was now. Let's give it a look. I think it was about four weeks ago. You can see here, back strain, which is a little bit of a shame. And as a result, it's opened up an opportunity for Bonavera to make a name for himself. Uh, left back, we're currently playing Stefan Clark. Uh, probably our best left back in our team ahead of Glenn Gilbert, who I do tend to play ahead of Stefan, if I'm honest. Uh, and as a result, Stefan has asked to leave the club. However, uh, Glenn Gilbert has got injured recently. He's been out for a long time with a groin strain, and as a result, Stefan has become our first choice left back and has been doing very well there. In terms of in the midfield, nothing too crazy going on here. Just one new face, I guess, to introduce to you guys. A player who we have talked about before, Lee Robson. This guy is a right midfielder. He actually generated at the club a number of seasons ago now, back when we were in the Saguda division. He's a good little right back, to be honest. A a little bit deceptive you know you look at him and you think he looks okay but he doesn't really look like a winger but it's when you highlight his kind of key attributes uh, for a wide midfielder attack which is the position he's going to be playing that you kind of see that he's quite strong in this position you know he's not the fastest winger by any means his dribbling isn't great but I'll tell you what he's got he's got some nice technical ability with the exception of his tackling some very well-rounded mentals particularly going forward perhaps his off the ball and positioning let him down a little bit but I like the work rate I like the teamwork He's played so far two games for us, and he has got an assist in that time. And we are going to keep playing him today, because at 18, he's got a little bit of potential to improve. And 
Um, I kind of like the look of him. He's a player who I'm becoming a little bit attached to, if I'm honest. Uh, elsewhere, midfield, fairly standard. Nothing too crazy going on there. Up front, Ben Connolly and Jack Peachman playing the, this game. You can see, looking at the two players, they've got 24 goals between them in 22 appearances. They are playing very well alongside each other and uh, you know, working very nicely as a team. With this competition, we do have less subs, so I'm just going to quickly sort this out. Laguia, of course, uh, a player who was out for a long period of time. He's not played too much football for us, if I'm honest. He did, of course, make a really good impact for us in the Pepe Reyes Cup. He's come on as a sub a few times, but hasn't really kind of set the world alight, I guess it's fair to say. So anyway, let's finish submitting this team. I'm going to take off Sanchez Rull and keep Laguia on the bench. This is the team we're going to go with. Big game for us today. I don't want to lose in this competition. I want to keep winning it. I want to keep doing well. Whether or not I'll come back for the semi-final of this, I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. The reason I'm doing this game rather than a league game is just because 10 games into the season, it's kind of a nice point, I guess, to reflect on. Depending on how soon, I guess, the semi-final is, we might come and do it. But playing against Britannia, it's not going to be a massive game for us. And as I mentioned... The board don't see this as kind of a super important game, I guess, for us. It'll be interesting to see over the next few years if we see dynamic rivalries come into play. If you don't know, this year in FM16, the game now kind of makes rivalries as you go. And with Gibraltar Apex, I ch chose not to add any rivalries because I kind of wanted to see if they develop themselves. So I kind of feel like a team like Glasses is a team who we probably will end up having a rivalry with. It's a team who we play a lot in big games. And uh, maybe the same could be said for St. Joseph's as well. You know, they're two teams who we seem to play a lot. Two teams who aren't massive at the start of saves in Gibraltar, but have really emerged in this specific save as kind of teams who are going to try and challenge for us and really push us to the edge. And it's kind of nice to have those. And I'm hoping, as I mentioned, that we will see them kind of develop into rivalries here. So at the moment, pretty disappointing game here. I do believe this will go to extra time. There isn't kind of a second leg uh, if it stays as a draw, so we're going to get the team talking. Players reacted fairly well to that. Hopefully, we can have an improved performance in the second half. Actually, looking at the stats, we've been the better team, but truth be told, neither team has created a lot with the possession they've had, and all in all, it's been a little bit of an underwhelming match so far, a little bit of a boring one. I don't want it to be a boring one. I was hoping we might beat them 3-0 again like we did in the league. Unfortunately, however, that has just not happened for us just yet. So anyway, we'll see how we get on here. I have got a bruised rip. That is tragic. Let's get Laguia on. A player who I bigged up a little bit. I said he's not made an impact off the bench. Maybe he can make a name for himself here. The striker, a player who I do like. He got two goals, of course, last episode. I want him to get more goals here. Maybe he can do it for the fans. You guys watching. He kind of has some kind of sixth scent. And he knows... Uh, yeah, sixth um, scent. It is a scent. No, it's not. Sense, Jack. Jeez. You can tell it's a Friday and I've been at work for a week and it's now 11pm, can't you? And I'm saying sense. Instead of saying sense, I'm saying sent. I'm thinking that's correct. Send help. Connolly has sent help. We've been thrown a lifeline. He's got a beard now. I don't know why he's grown that. I've told him to shave it. It doesn't make him look older. It doesn't matter though. Connolly there. Leaps like a salmon. Stings like a bee. It's 1-0. And Glasses United are going to be sad. I couldn't think of anything that rhymed with B. Although there are a lot of things now I think about it. I'm not a rapper, what can I say? Right, let's take off Anthony Hernandez. He's struggling just a little bit. I'm also going to bring on Reyes. I want to start getting Reyes a little bit of match fitness. I probably do prefer him over Peter Morgan, despite Peter Morgan's really good form. And, um, you know, he's going to need to play some football at some point, Reyes, to get that match fitness. But primarily, we've got to keep our head on here. If we could get another goal now, that would really kill off the game. We might have a chance as well. Stefan Clark to Griffo. Options in the middle to Connolly. Scores his second of the game. It's 2-0. The bearded maestro grabs his second. And bam, Big Ben has chimed once more. It's 2-0. Glasses United going to be defeated here, you'd have to say, unless they're going to mount some kind of crazy Istanbul-esque comeback in the last six minutes. It's going to be 2-0 on the day, if not more. Ben Connolly really kind of turned up big for us in this last 10 minutes. We finally created some opportunities, found some gaps in the Glasses United defence, and we've capitalised on them. And in the end, while the scoreline makes it seem convincing, you would look at the stats and go, it's been a fairly routine performance, but... I mean, it could have been very different going into that last 10-minute period. But all in all, we've come away. We can impress, uh, congratulate the team, let them know we are impressed. And what a performance that has been. That is a great way... 
to round off um, this kind of run of results. We've been on a good run of results. I guess we're still going on this run of results. We are unbeaten so far this year, I do believe. We are in domestic football, certainly. The Senior Cup isn't actually for a while against Britannia. I might do that as the next live come, depending on the significance of perhaps some of these league games, depending on how the league goes. I mean, at the moment, we're unbeaten in it, and we are pulling away just a little bit. We'll see how things go. Maybe I'll come back for the St. Joseph's game. If not, it will be that... Um, kind of Gibraltarian Senior League Cup semi-final. Either way, I hope to see you guys on the next episode. As always, if you have enjoyed the video, please do smash the like button. It does really help me out. If you've got any comments, leave them down below. And other than that, it is me, Jack, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out.